Ave Maria, and welcome to episode 23 of Marian Shrines of the World. According to tradition, when Jesus dwelled amongst us, he built a tabletop which in due time was used by Saint Luke, the evangelist, as a surface for the painting of an image of Our Lady and the Child Jesus. It was while painting the picture that Mary told Saint Luke about the life of Jesus, which he later incorporated into the Gospel. The next time we hear of the painting is in the year 326, when it was discovered and brought from Jerusalem to Constantinople by Saint Helena, mother of Emperor Constantine. She was a collector of Christian relics in the Holy Land. Once during a battle, the image was placed on the walls of the city of Constantinople and the enemy army fled. Our Lady saved the city from destruction. The image remained at the city of Constantinople for the next 500 years. In 1803, the image is said to have been given as a wedding gift from the Byzantine Emperor to a Greek princess who married a Ukrainian nobleman. The image was then placed in the royal palace at Belts in the Ukraine, where it remained for nearly 600 years. In 1382, the Tatars conquered the city, looting everything except the image, for a mysterious cloud was said to have enveloped the chapel where it was kept thus hiding it entirely from the invaders. An angel appeared to the prince and told him to take the image to a small village named Czestachowa in neighbouring Poland. Soon some monks of the Pauline order were given possession of a small wooden church in Czestachowa on a piece of land called Yas Nogora or Bright Hill. And four years later, in 1386, a monastery was built to house the image of Our Lady, already renowned as Miraculous. Soon thereafter, a cathedral was built around the chapel containing the icon. In 1430, the country was invaded yet again. This time it was by the Hussites, who burned and looted everything in sight in an attempt to destroy the image a soldier slashed the image with his sword, leaving two gashes on Our Lady's right cheek. But before he could strike it again, he fell to the ground in agony and pain and died. When the monks later found the picture, it was covered with filth. They were unable to clean it immediately due to a lack of water. But later, a miraculous fountain sprung up and they were able to clean the famous image. The icon was soon repainted, but the slash marks from the sword remained and are clearly visible today. In 1643, King Valdis Los IV turned Yasnagora into a fortress. It was a very timely modification, for in 1655, Swedish troops laid siege to Yasnagora and attacked it with intense cannon fire for a month. Our Lady was invoked and the enemy was driven away. In 1656, King John Kashmir declared Our Lady of Czestochowa Queen of Poland and made the city the spiritual capital of the nation. Our Lady again came to the aid of her people in 1920, when the Soviet army invaded the newly unified country of Poland, gathered on the banks of the river Vistula and prepared to attack Warsaw. As the Russian victory seemed almost certain, the Polish citizens and soldiers prayed to Our Lady of Czestochowa, and on September the 15th, the Feast of Our Lady of Sorrows, she appeared in the clouds above Warsaw. The Russians were thrown into confusion and then defeated in a series of battles later known as 
the miracle at the Vistula. Under German occupation during the Second World War, the Polish faithful were prohibited from making pilgrimages to Yasnakora, although some went anyway, as a show of defiance. In 1945, after Poland was liberated, half a million pilgrims journeyed to Czestochowa to express their gratitude. On September 8, 1946, one and a half million people gathered at the shrine to rededicate the entire nation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. During the Cold War, Jasna Gora was a centre of anti-communist resistance and the many government attempts to stop pilgrimages to the shrine were unsuccessful. In fact, in the early 1980s, when he was leading the Solidarity Movement, Lech Walesa pinned the small image of Our Lady of Czesachowa on his jacket. Pope St. John Paul II prayed before the image during his historic visit in 1979, just months after his election to the papacy. He subsequently visited in 1983, 1991 and 1997. Pope Benedict XVI visited the shrine in 2006 and Pope Francis visited in 2016. The chapel altar with the icon is separated by a grille from the rest of the 15th century Gothic chapel. The walls of the chapel are full of ex photos left by grateful pilgrims for healing and other answered prayers. The, the small chapel with the holy images of Our Lady is the heart of the sanctuary. There is still much to see at Yesnagora. Attached to the chapel is the Baruch Basilica, named the Church of the Holy Cross and Nativity of Mary, rebuilt between 1692 and 1695. It has three aisles and ceilings decorated with accounts of the miracles of Our Lady of Chester over. The 105 metre tall bell tower, crowned with a viewing gallery, dates back to 1620. The adjacent mid-17th century early Baroque monastery contains the great refectory of 1644, the Knight Hall of 1647, and the 18th century richly decorated library with its unmatched collection of precious manuscripts and books. Fortifications date from 1643, while majestic gates are a century younger. Around the perimeter of the shrine, where the moat once was, are the 14 Stations of the Cross, represented by bronze statues, sculptured in 1913. The monastery treasury is a rich storehouse of votive offerings given to Our Lady over the centuries, from the 14th century to the present. Its viewing is a must by virtue of the artistic and historical value of its collections. Gifts range from swords and scepters to rosaries made of dried bread which were used in the concentration camps. Kings, queens and popes have donated a vast array of precious objects. Also on display are tear gas cylinders used by the communists against solidarity. Protesters in the 1980s and the Nobel Peace Prize won by Lex Walesa in 1983. The treasury also contains an ivory inlaid monumental monstrance and a chalice and medals connected with the Second Vatican Council, as well as other memorabilia offered by popes, those donated by Pope St. John Paul II being the most numerous. These are chalices and liturgical vestments used by St. John Paul II during holy masses celebrated at Yasnagora, as well as his mitre and crozier. Perhaps the most precious gift, however, was made in June 1983, when Pope St. John Paul II donated the white cassock belt shot through during his attempted assassination. The monastery of Yasnagora 
is the national shrine of Poland and truly the centre of Polish Catholicism. In fact, it is one of the most visited Marian shrines in the world and on August 26, the feast day of Our Lady of Czestochowa, the shrine is visited by some one million pilgrims. Time and time again, Our Lady has come to the assistance of the Polish people in their needs when they ask for her help. May we too experience her assistance in all our needs. Our Lady of Czestochowa, pray for us. Ave Maria.